So now we finished everything in our app. The user can add to cart, can add to favorites, can view all the items, can search. The only thing that left to do is to add the authentication for this app. And for sure we can add a landing page for it. And that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. I will go to my old project and show you how the landing page is. So here it is. As you can see, it is a very beautiful and specific design. It has a moving background and it has something very interesting about it. Once the user closes this up, for example, and open it again, this wallpaper may change or may not. For example, if I restart it now, the background may change. For example, here it is. It is changed already. And if I restart it again, it may change also or it may not. So here it is. It's, it does it change again. So in this tutorial, we are going to implement this page or this screen. So let's get started. For that, let's create a new file in the screens called landing page .dart. Let's initialize. Actually, it's going to be a stateful widget because of that moving wallpaper that I showed you. And let's name it in here landing page. We need to import the material package. And let's copy its name. Go to the main. And we need to change actually the home page to the landing page. We need to import it like this. So I run the app again and we got a black screen in here. That's because we didn't initialize a scaffold and the landing page. So let's wrap this by a new widget and type in scaffold. And it changed this to body. Body in here. And let's get rid of this container. And it's actually going to be a stack because as you can see there's some buttons and text above of the wallpaper. Or the moving wallpaper. So the first child will be the moving wallpaper. But for that, I will use a new package and we can use it for everything else. If we go to the pub.dev and search for cached network image and go to this package in here, go to installation and let's copy this. Go back to pubspec to channel file and paste it in here, fix the indentation and press on this button or run flutter packages get just like this sorry like this so it's being imported let's go back and in here let's initialize a cached network image my IDE didn't recognize it yet so let's go back to the website and copy this and paste it in here and once I opened the project on the Android Studio uh, this error appeared in here it is because we are using this version of the shared preference so let's go to the Pop to dev and I searched for it and let's copy this and instead of this shared preference old version let's paste it in here and run pop.get let's go back to the landing page go back to the browser and copy this 
let's paste it in here and now the error is gone okay so now let's initialize a cached network image and I've already got a picture in here this picture let's go back to the Visual Studio code and we can add a few parameters for it so in here let's add a comma and we can add a placeholder for it so placeholder and we can use this image URL the warning image URL in here so we need to initialize or give it the context first like this and pass in the URL and in here we need to initialize image dot network and pass in the URL just like this now we can add a fit for this placeholder and I will choose contain like this now we can add an error widget same as the placeholder it takes IRL and context and one last thing which is the error and we need to give it a widget and I will choose the icon dot error icon in here icons just like this let's add a fit for it and choose also box fit dot contain and give it a height and a width so double dot infinity and same for the width double dot infinity and one last thing which is the alignment which is I will implement it at the end of this video to add this cool animation for it so now let's restart the application cool so here it is Now below it, let's initialize a container and give it a margin of edge and sets dot only. I will give it only from the top 30 and give it a width of infinity. So double dot infinity, just like this. And as a child, let's initialize a column. Um, let's add cross axis alignment for it and set it to center and the first one will be a text I mean the first child so a text and they work on text and we need to add a few styling for it of text style as usual and let's give it a font size of 40 and font weight of font weight I will choose W600 and we can choose the color for it um, I will keep it like this now below it we need to initialize another text so I will just copy this and let's add some margin between them so in here sized box I will give it height of 20 and in here we need to initialize the other text and let's say welcome to the biggest online store or shop let's add text alignment for it so text align dot I prefer center it's by default to the left 
and in here let's change the from 40 to 26 and the font weight let's keep it w400 now we can change the color for it by i will just keep it like this and let's wrap it by padding and i prefer to choose symmetric padding from the horizontal and give it value of 30. Here it is, it looks cool actually. Now below of the container in here, let's initialize another column. Initialize children for it. And we need to add main access alignment for it now. So in here, main access alignment. And I will choose end to add those widgets at the bottom of the screen. So in here, let's initialize a row for the buttons. So let's say row in here and let's initialize a raised button. Or we can initialize, because it is deprecated, we can initialize elevated button. And actually it is very similar to it. In here, it's going to do something. I will not implement it now. And as a child, it's going to take a text for sure. And let's say login in here. Let's do some styling for it. So style, text style, font weight of font weight dot w500 and let's give it font size of 17 like this. Now it will be better if we wrap it by unexpanded and like this and we can copy this for the sign up button and paste it in here and in here let's say sign up like this. I will start it now. Cool, so here it is. Now we can add sized box or add padding to it. Let's just add it a few sized box and give it width of 10 in here. Let's copy it and paste one in here and one at the end of it. Here it is. It looks cool actually. Now let's add something for it. We can add borders for it, for that. And the elevated button, it's actually different from the raised button. So if we check our old project in here, as you can see, it is a rounded button that has this border on it. Same for this one. So let's do it. And it's not just like the raised button in here. So we need to initialize a style of button style and in here we need to initialize a shape and initialize something called material state property. So material state property, this one, and say dot all and before it, let's say rounded rectangle border, this one, between this and here. And as a value also, let's say rounded rectangle border, border and add border radius for it. So let's initialize border radius and say dot circular and it choose 30. Let's add a side for it of border side and give it a color of the colors const dot background color just like this. Now let's copy this and paste it also for this elevated button for the signing up button and let's save it now. So 
here it is it looks way more better okay so now let's change the color for this button in here for that let's add a background color in here and let's initialize a material state property say dot all and in here we need to give it the color that we want um, I will choose maybe the pink dot shade maybe 400 let's try it and as usual you can change it as you want so as you can see it is it looks very good so once the user press on it this border appear better in here now below of the row let's initialize a size box and give it height of 30 and below it let's initialize another row that take also children and the first child will be the divider let's give it a color of white color and thickness of 2 let's wrap it by expanded like this and we can wrap it by padding in here and say symmetric because we only need it from the horizontal and in here give it a value of 10 I will save it so here it is so below it let's initialize a text that say or continue with like this and we can give it style or we can keep it just like this let's copy this and paste it below it now let's save it so here it is I will keep it just like this or we can give it a color of black which is I prefer it in our case so in here let's say text style as usual and in here let's initialize a color and give it a black color like this